What is up all you worship peoples? Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And in this video, we're gonna be learning how to play on an acoustic guitar, the song In Your Hands, written by yours truly. Yes, this is my song. It's so weird, as always, to teach my own songs, but let's get into it. for hanging out with me. If these videos are helping you, why don't you give them a like and maybe even ring that notification bell or subscribe so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. All right, so there are three things we'll be going over in this video to help you learn this song on an acoustic guitar. Now, the first thing is key and capo. The key that I recorded this song in and the key that I'm playing it in in this tutorial and how to use your capo to play in some other keys. Uh, the second thing are strumming patterns. I'm going to teach you two strumming patterns that will get you through this whole song. And the third thing are the chords. I'm going to play through each section of the song individually. And as I do, I will have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right hand corner so that you can pause the video and see exactly my fingering for each chord um, of the song. Don't forget that this video is segmented so you can skip ahead to any part of the song that you want to learn. All right, so we recorded this song live uh, at my church, my last church in Miami in the key of C. Um, I'm going to stay in that key for this tutorial and that means capo wise, um, you can put your capo on fret number five so one, two, three, four, five, and play in what's called the G position. And you will be in the key of C. If you don't know what the G position is or how to play in it, I have a video for that, so click up above or down below. Um, I'm kind of taking the lazy way out of this because usually you could play in the C position and be in the key of C. But you know, for this song, I just really liked those G position chords and also when I played it live, I had a lot of instrumentation behind me. So it was easy for me to kind of get away with, you know, uh, playing in a different position on the neck. Uh, so um, I'm going to just stay in that position. Uh, if you want, you can play in the open C position. Uh, but what's cool about me teaching you the G position chords is that you can change the key really easily. So if you wanted to lower it, for instance, you could go down to the key of B if you put your capo on fret number four. Fret number three would be B flat or A sharp. Fret number two, the key of A. And fret number one would be A flat or G sharp. And then of course, take your capo off completely and it'll be the key of G, because you're playing the G position. So that is the key that I'm gonna be in for the tutorial. And those are some keys that, other keys that you can play in using your capo. The other cool thing is that you can get my chord chart for this song for free on my website. So just go to natemeisch.com, click on charts at the top and download the chord chart. Usually you gotta like pay for these things if you're getting like a, you know, Elevation or Chris Tomlin chord chart. You gotta like subscribe to something or pay for it individually, but uh, not when you write your own stuff. This is my song, so I can give whatever I want away for free. <laughs> so hit up my website and get the chord chart and you can follow along. I have it in the key of C, in the key of B, as well as the key of G, uh, so that you can capo like I'm doing and follow along pretty easily. All right, so let's learn these strumming patterns. Um, there are two patterns. Uh, this is strumming pattern number one, and this will get you through the majority of the song, the kind of like the less less energetic parts of the song, if I could put it like that. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down. And this is strumming pattern number two. This is when we get into the more powerful choruses. So one, two, three, four. All right, 
right, let's slow that one down. So one, two, three, four. Down, down, down. Up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. All right, let's learn these chords. This is the intro of the song. So one, two, three, four. Verse number one. One, two, three, four. In your hands, the stars are held in place. You form and you create. There is power there. And then it goes into verse number two, same exact chords as verse number one. All right, chorus number one. One, two, three, four. I will look to you. I will look to you. Jesus, you are unshaken. I will hold to you. I will hold to you. You're my help ever present. All right, then it goes into the turnaround, which is uh, basically just one rotation of what we already learned for the intro of the song. All right, for verse three, once again, same exact chords as verse one. So just refer to verse one for verse three chords. All right, the second chorus. Uh, this one, I jump up an octave vocally, and we end this song on a different chord than the first chorus, which takes us into the bridge instrumental. So let's play through the second chorus. So one, two, three. I will love to you. I will love to you. Jesus, you are unshaken. I will hold to you. I will hold to you. You're my help ever present. All right, the instrumental before the bridge. One, two, three, four. Bridge number one. One, two, three. You are the rock on which I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. When all around my soul gives way. Jesus, you're all my hope and stay. And then they repeat that bridge number one again. Bridge number two, I jump up an octave vocally here and the chords change. So let's play through this. So one, two, three, four. You are the rock on which I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. When all around my soul gives way, Jesus, you're all in my hope and stay. You are the rock on which I stand. All other 
into the chorus now using strumming pattern number two. So one, two, three. Then after that chorus, we went back into bridge number two. Uh, so same chords as bridge number two, but different strumming pattern. So let's play through this. So one, two, three. You are the rock on which I stand. repeat that same thing again and then end on the, the G chord. All right, so those are all the chords for my song In Your Hands, guys. Uh, you can search for this song on my Spotify profile. It's there posted. Uh, go take a listen to it if you'd like and it's live version context. Uh, but I appreciate you, you know, just learning the song in general if you did. If you watch this video and you genuinely learned my song, that's insane. Uh, comment down below if you did or if you're doing this song. I would truly love to hear from you because that would just be uh, insane to me. That would be mind blowing. Let me know, uh, comment wherever you guys are, whatever you're doing, whatever song you're playing. I hope that it's going well for you and I hope that you are getting, getting crazy, getting super crazy wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I'll see you guys in the next video.